Hello, it's Craig from Wookie Video here, where it is eternally sometime in the 1980s, and of course, your local store for all the latest movies. So it's you again. So what? It's this is every Friday night now, yeah? So what's on the bill tonight? Is it family, entertainment, comedy, action, science fiction? But not one for the kids. Hmm. Does your fancy lean towards muscle-bound action stars, maybe set in the jungle? No? You want a female lead? Aha, I've got the one. It fits the bill. It's a science fiction. It's definitely not one for the kids and has a fantastic female character who carries all the action in true kick-ass style. So relax, unwind, as long as you rewind. And let me give you five reasons why you should hire James Cameron's Aliens. from her, you bitch! Aliens is a direct sequel to 1979's Alien and involves Ellen Ripley, the lone survivor of the first film, who arrives back at Earth in a deep freeze hypersleep. There she discovers she's been drifting in outer space for 57 years. When she tells the horrific story of the alien life form that killed the entire crew of the Nostromo, she opts to face her nightmares and go back to the distant planet LV-426, where her nightmare began. But this time, she's accompanied by a group of kick-ass marines. So as the horror begins yet again, Ripley and her crew go to war with the horrific creatures that will stop at nothing to destroy anything in their path. So, here's my five reasons. Number five better than the original? Well, the jury is out with this one, but the one thing is for sure, there's no denying that Aliens is a worthy sequel that advances the character of Ripley further. Plus, instead of the crew being hunted down by one creature, this time it is war, with hundreds of the disgusting, horrific aliens against a group of tough marines. This film plays like a war movie in outer space. It's bold, action-packed, tightly scripted, and has the guts to move away from the original but still feel connected in every way. I must admit Ridley Scott's original Alien was a tough act to follow, but I found there's room enough in my heart for both. Number four, Prince Cameron. Taking the reins from Ridley Scott was surely no easy feat, but writer-director James Cameron is a force to be reckoned with. Having started out in special effects for John Carpenter's Escape from New York and the alien drone Galaxy of Terror, he got the golden opportunity to take over as director to the schlocky Piranha 2, The Flying Killers, and voila, a new star was born. Since then, Cameron has earned his Hollywood wings with a superb low-budget science fiction thriller, The Terminator, that he actually conceived during a dream. He then worked with Sylvester Stallone with the script for Rambo First Blood Part 2, and this cemented his involvement with writing the sequel to Alien for 20th Century Fox. Now James Cameron is simply a visionary with his film projects and seems to be going from strength to strength. I've got so much faith in where his work is going to go. Let's consult the Oracle of Future Video and have a peek into what is to come. So hey Oracle, what is going to happen with James Cameron's career? James Cameron will go from strength to strength with the Abyss in 1989 and will produce the phenomenally successful Terminator 2 Judgment Day in 1991. He will move on to create the greatest grossing movie of all time in 1997 with Titanic and then with the Avatar and its sequels. Okay, okay, I get the message. So I'm right, he's gonna go from Prince Cameron to King Cameron. 
Number three, superb character web. So here is a group of Marines who start off annoyingly cocky, jokey, and oozing with bravado and testosterone, but once they start to face real fear and desperation, I feel their characters really starting to emerge. And you know what? I actually learned to care about them. And when some of them perish, no spoilers, I actually had a tear in my eye. Every character plays his or her part in the character web, and there's no one that is separated by their gender. They just have to work as a team and get on with it. They are nothing short of brilliant and dynamic, and all played so beautifully by the amazing cast. Number two, Stan the Man. So, Stan Winston provided the groundbreaking special effects for Aliens. Having worked on The Thing and Cameron's earlier hit, The Terminator, he went on to actually win the 1986 Academy Award for Best Visual Effects for the amazing work he and his team created for this film. And looking at it, it's easy to see why. There's lots of disgusting creatures on display that learns us more about the perfect organism. The spider facehugger is no longer the inanimate creature wrapped around John Hurt's face like in the original film. Now they scuttle around after you and they are so quick and surely the ultimate nightmare for any arachnophobes out there. And it's not just them, the alien warriors are now presented in their masses as they hunt down our ragtag bunch of marines, snapping their protruding jaws and bleeding acid as they do battle with one another. And then there's the alien queen, who is surely one of the most terrifying creatures ever to grace the screen. She's totally badass and will have you cowling behind your cushion. So are you ready for my number one reason why you should hire this film? Okay, here it goes. Number one, girl power. Zagorny Weaver's Ellen Ripley is nothing short of amazing and a fantastic role model for all movie heroes, regardless of their gender. In the first film, Ripley was a tough cookie, however, appeared a little steely with a slight attitude problem, but this time she shows a more vulnerable side to her nature and it makes her such more relatable. So she may start out as a traumatised advisor to the Marines, but soon she's rolling up her sleeves, challenging authority and assuming leadership for survival. And what's great about that, Ripley always appears as a three-dimensional female who slowly has to up her game to survive impossible odds as the going gets tough. So Zagoni Weaver's performance is truly amazing, has real depth that makes her one of the most effective female leads in an action thriller that I've ever seen. So there it is, five of my reasons why you should hire Aliens tonight, which is easily one of the best sequels that I've ever seen, and can possibly equal the power and respect of its predecessor, and ends the story quite nicely. So would you like it? And why wouldn't you? So that overnight rental will be due back tomorrow morning at 10am. I promise that you will love it and want to hire it all over again. Why not become a member of our video store by hitting the subscribe button and this will allow me to keep you posted of any new movies released in our store. As a prize member, I will always give you the first dibs on what is hot. So if you have any suggestions for any new movies or any old movies that we can stock on our shelves, why not let me know in the comments below. So until next time and don't forget, be a mate. Be sure you don't return at late. And be a friend. Rewind when you get to the end. See you later.